Second man charged with sister's murder in Mona Common St. Andrew. Hi again and welcome. This is Links 7 TV. Let's talk. And we're about to discuss this on the program. We ask you, please remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell and click on all so you're always in tune whenever time we post new videos. We'll be right back after this short break. Welcome back and thanks for joining us for the program. This is Link Subler 7 TV. Let's talk. Well, this is just an update to bring to you um, in relation to a story that I brought to you earlier this year as it relates to two sisters' life being taken at their home in Mona Common, St. Andrew. And one of the sisters would have been celebrating her birthday on the day that her life was taken. So I'm about now to just give you an update in relation to this. But what I see going on in our country is very sad and it's a cause for concern based on the speed of crime that we see taking place. Most of the time people might say, why are you reporting on this thing? But at the end of the day, whether or not I report on it is actually happening. So I don't see the sense of me um, not providing the information out there to you because it's happening. It's no secret. So investigators from the St. Andrew Central Police Division have arrested and charged 30-year-old Sean Clark, otherwise called Brother, a livestock farmer of August Town Road, African Garden St. Andrew with murder and illegal possession of firearm and ammunition as well. Following an incident in Mona Commons, Papine St. Andrew on Thursday, September 17, 2020. So reports are that around 2.15 p.m., four men on motorbikes armed with guns entered Mona Commons community where they shot and killed 23-year-old Rene Mitchell, otherwise called Tassie, and 31-year-old Shana K. Hunter, otherwise called Tiffany, both of Mona Commons in St. Andrew. The men then escapes on their motorbikes. Clark is the second man to be arrested and charged with the taking out of the two sisters. A date for them to appear in court had not yet been finalized. So this was a situation in which two sisters, they were at their home getting ready in order to host a birthday party when some men on motorbikes rode up inside the community and they actually brandished firearms and opened fire hitting the two sisters. And they did not survive this daring attack. No real motive have not yet been established for the taking out of the sisters. But the police are so far reporting that they have taken two of the alleged suspects into custody in relation to the shooting incident. And charges will be laid against them and a court date will be finalized for them to appear in court. Now these sisters, one of them was actually 31 years old and one was actually 23 years old. And I can tell you, the family was less devastated based on this news. And they are still, even up to this date, in shock as they can't pinpoint any real reason behind the incident as they try to console each other during this difficult time. And remember the memories that they shared with these two sisters. They are still hoping that one day justice will be served. And the police are still appealing to anyone out there with information to come forward and provide them with this as they carry out their own personal investigation in order to ascertain what is behind this latest incident. But all I can say these situations are so sad, especially when you look on females and females' life are just being taken just like that. There is something going on and I can't pinpoint the real actual reason behind most of these latest incidents which involve females. But we are having a real problem in our country and that problem is in relation to crime and violence. And until we find the underlying reason what is causing all these fear of violence in certain communities, we are going to have a real serious problem moving forward. And we have seen that playing out in more than one parishes 
in our country and uh, even though the police are trying their very best to curtail it it's still spiraling out of control which is very shocking and alarming and it doesn't look good on the international scene for a country to have such spates of violence and especially such criminal activities taking place as well it's very sad to see the direction our country is moving in. I'm going to leave this one here for now though. Thanks for watching. This has been Links of Blossom TV. Peace out and have a blessed and productive day.